Chesterfield Town Center is an enclosed shopping mall located in Richmond, Virginia that opened in 1975. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around at the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notified of my latest mall video, defunct store, or my throwback Thursday videos. Leave a suggestion or a comment for a future video. Thanks. Chesterfield Mall, as the center was originally known, opened in 1975. When it opened, there was only one anchor store called Miller and Rhodes. Chesterfield Town Center is the largest enclosed shopping area in the Richmond area, with one level, over 1 million square feet of shopping space, and around 115 retailers. The mall started as a tiny single anchor enclosed shopping strip in 1975. Customers were so sparse in those first few years that merchants nicknamed the place the Chesterfield Morgue. If you went in those early years, you may have remembered Miller and Rhodes, Barry Burke, People's Drug, Fancy Ladies Clothier, La Vogue, and a place called the Pants Corral, among others. There was a giant open-air grocery store in the parking lot. The mall was built on 33 acres on what was formerly swampland. One manager once said in 1977 that large blackbirds often were seen circling the mall, seemingly confused by the change of habitat. In 1987, the mall underwent a major renovation and expansion. Chesterfield Mall was renamed Chesterfield Town Center, an attempt to reposition the struggling mall as more upscale. It's arguable whether the mall succeeded as an upscale center, but it began drawing more customers and retailers and power strips expanded around the mall rapidly. The designers figured that using a diamond and palm theme would draw in the higher clientele. The expansion also added a Hess's department store, a Leggett department store, and a Belk department store as the new anchors. They also added a food court, a nine-screen movie theater, and a long corridor parallel to Mall Drive. In 1992, Miller and Rhodes was closed and rebranded as Hexed. In 1993, Hess's sold its store to Profits. And then in 1996, the store was sold again to Dillard's. In 1994, the Mesa Rich partnership acquired Chesterfield Town Center. In 1997, Sears opened a store at the mall, followed by J.C. Penney's in 2001, as retailers began to abandon the nearby Cloverleaf Mall. Leggett and Belk was traded to Dillard's, who then closed the store and then reopened it as a second location for Dillard's. Soon, Chesterfield Town Center was the largest mall in Richmond. In September of 2006, the Hex store was rebranded as Macy's. In May of 2008, both of the Dillard stores closed. In June of 2008, a Barnes & Noble bookstore filled the space left vacant by the mall's theater complex. In November of 2010, the former Leggett, Belk, Dillard's was replaced with Garden Ridge. The former Hess's Dillard's became a combination TJ Maxx and home goods store 
in 2011. In December of 2013, Maesrich sold the mall to Rouse Properties. Many predicted the demise of the Chesterfield Town Center when competitors like Stony Point Fashion Park and Short Pump Town Center opened in 2003. Chesterfield Town Center has outlived the normal life cycle of malls, usually about 30 years. The mall accounts for about 6% of the county's tax base and employs 1,650 people year-round. The mall had around 6 million visitors in 2011. In 2015, Garden Ridge changed its name to At Home. In February of 2020, Sears closed as part of the plan to close 96 stores nationwide. On April 23, 2020, 22-year-old Kamani Donovan, who was shopping with friends at the mall, was shot and killed by William E. Taylor Jr. Taylor Jr. told police he approached Donovan after recognizing him as the person he may have had a distasteful exchange with in 2017. Mind you, it was three years before this confrontation, about Taylor's former girlfriend, who is the mother of his young son. Donovan later died from his wounds 12 days later in a hospital. In 2021, a jury found 23-year-old William Taylor Jr. guilty of multiple charges related to the deadly shooting at Chesterfield Town Center. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hot shot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if you answered four, you are correct. You are paying attention. Give yourself a hand. Thank you for watching. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C Productions.